what is experiential learning approaches? An experiential learning model for teaching and assessment is made up of five components. The five components are say to improve experiential learning approaches. These are human diversity, social affiliation patterns, transfer of learning, and authentic assessment. Let's go through the five components. First, human diversity. Becoming of human diversity and how they affect learning is a vital step in any educational program. For example, overcoming fears, discovering unique needs of individual learners, and the aspirations in activity and program design decision. Approach students more as individuals and less as members of a population. Focus on what is a strong position about themselves and able to protect themselves from negative experiences. Second, social affiliation patterns. For example, storytelling as an instructional device to enhance social context of mutual support and appreciation. To provide support for each other, both instructors and the participant enhances certainty. Third, transfer of learning. For example, the effective application of what has been learned in a program to other life situations. Skill transfer regarding interaction with peers in the professional developmental setting through an active network of relationships produces the successful educational program. Fourth, authentic assessment. For example, evaluation of growth and change. For example, emphasis uh, uniformity as the measured outcomes of instruction. Volumes and portfolios means related to specific adaptation to change and to the conditions of specific context. The measurement of successful experiences and individuals' profession that show the uniqueness of a person. The experiential learning approaches allows learners to put uh, forward the experiences into action by being aware of a problem at the same time, trying and undergoing uh, undergoing times to overcome the obstacles in the journey of learning. Experiential learning approach is a process of knowledge created through the transformation of experience. For example, from concrete experience to reflection observations to abstract conceptualization and then to active experimentation. There is a process model for experiential learning approach. First of all, knowing the characteristics and needs of adult learners. Second, have conceptual foundations of experiential learning. Third, use methods and techniques for engaging learners in experiential learning activities. Fourth, going through assessment processes and outcomes, that is, to build a portfolio. Fifth, going through assessment and outcomes, that is, portfolio construction. You can find my previous video describing more detail on the process uh, from the above called the experiential learning approaches. So the uncertainty of the current situation uh, and also, also whether or not experiential is beneficial to some position and harmful to the other. So it is up to the learner himself or herself to adopt the approach and the sole responsibility applies to the learner who uses it. To achieve experiential learning, emotional aspect of learning is in use because the participants analyze, interpret and gain new understandings from the intense emotional experiences they encounter through challenge activities. For the video on the benefits of the experiential learning, please watch the video from the above. Finally, thank you very much for your participating, watching and listening. Until next time.